A small group of people are protesting against a far-right campaign rally in central Slovakia. Opinion polls suggest the Kotleba party could play a kingmaker role after parliamentary elections on February 29th. And it's brought its nationalist message to Hrinjová, population 7,500. The party's lawmakers have been hit with criminal charges for alleged hate speech against Jews and Muslims, and they've described Romani people as parasites. There are many Roma among the counter-demonstrators. Marian Kotleba founded the party in 2003. Its uniforms echoed those used by Slovakia's wartime Nazi puppet state, which the party has voiced respect for. After numerous brushes with the law, it ditched the uniforms and sought to clean up its image. But traces of a martial ethos are still clear in promo videos for its youth wing, the People's Youth, which also pushed the party line on traditional gender roles. Kotleba is fiercely critical of the European Union and wants Slovakia to leave NATO. The party's rise comes after a collapse in support for the government amid a sensational murder trial. Two years ago, an investigative journalist and his fiancée were gunned down in what prosecutors say was a contract killing. The trial has revealed extensive connections between organised crime and senior state officials. Former Prime Minister Iveta Radičová says it's blown the election wide open. To je strašný šok pre spoločnosť. A vyvoláva to účasti ľudí pocit bezmocnosti, u iných beznádej, ale u veľkej časti veľký hnev. Skoro tretina voličov, ktorí síce hovoria, že pôjdu voliť, ale rozhodnú sa v ten deň pod emóciou v danom dni. This volatility is reflected in the late emergence of a new star in Slovak politics. A few months ago, populist former businessman Igor Matovič had around 5% support. But recent opinion polls put his movements, ordinary people and independent personalities in second place behind the main governing party. And the final poll, before the vote, even put him first. Prieskumy vyzerajú dobre. Vyzerá, že by David mohol poraziť Goliáša, ale treba si počkať tie tri dni. Part of Matovič's strategy has been attention-grabbing online videos like this one, where he visits a villa on the French Riviera that he says a former minister in the current Slovak government purchased with stolen money. He's also holding an online referendum, asking people what policies he should carry out. Tens of thousands have participated. And in the last days of the campaign, he posted this video, in which he's interviewed by his 11-year-old daughter, Clara. The governing party, Smer SD, presents its top candidate, Prime Minister Peter Pellegrini, as a firm hand at the wheel. In power since 2012, the party is promising responsible change. Slovak voters must now decide between sticking with what they know or taking a flight into the unknown.